Hi students, Pete Esterbrook here. Let's talk about uh, some variations on the blues and then I'm gonna give you this resource that I use frequently, which is Jamie Abersold's volume 42. Uh, that's accompanied by a CD and or MP3 tracks, which you can either rip yourself or purchase on jazzbooks.com. Um, and that's not a paid endorsement. That's just what I use and what I use with my students. You can, of course, use uh, the iReal program or create your own, go out on the internet and find some accompaniments. It's just convenient to have the blues in all 12 keys in two common variations. So let's talk about those variations. So in the fourth bar, let's talk in the key of C, so we're concrete. In the fourth bar, uh, we're approaching that four chord in the key of C, that would be F7. So we would precede that with a 2-5, G minor 7, C7 going to F7 in the fifth bar. And then in the eighth bar, uh, we would precede the minor 2-5 in, uh, in the, sorry, the minor chord in the ninth bar, we would precede that with a 2-5. Now, sometimes that's done with a regular major 2-5, so in the key of C, that would be E minor 7, A7. Sometimes it's also done with a minor 2-5, E minor 7, flat 5. A7 sharp 9 going to D minor. Those are uh, some common variations in those spots. Um, backing up a little bit in the sixth bar after the F7 chord, the next bar, sometimes you'll see an F sharp uh, diminished 7 as a passing chord there. So that's uh, something that's commonly inserted. And then uh, in the seventh and eighth bars instead of what would commonly be a C7 and then in the the last bar of that that second phrase E minor 7 A7 instead of those chords sometimes we'll see something like a C7 then D minor 7 then E minor 7 going down to E flat minor 7 going to D minor that's a common variation and of course wherever there's two fives you can also use the substitute two fives either when you're just improvising when you're writing a blues or this may occur in a pre-written uh, situation so in in that instead of E minor 7 E flat minor 7 you could have E minor 7 E flat 7 going to D minor that's that's a possibility let's talk about the last phrase so once we land um, we have in the last phrase, D minor 7, G7, 2, 5, 1. Sometimes that one chord, that C7, would be replaced with an E minor 7, going to A7, D minor 7, and G7 in the last bar. Um, another commonality would be landing on the C7 and then having an A7, which leads to D minor 7, G7, and back to the top. Those are some possibilities. So uh, a few of these variations are covered in that Abersold uh, Volume 2, uh, sorry, 42. And um, you actually get uh, several choruses of one version, and then you'll hear a, a ding, you'll hear a bell, and then uh, the Abersold rhythm, rhythm section switches to one of the other variations. So, uh, and in various rhythmic fields. So, Learning the blues in 12 keys and learning these common variations is a, an extremely important part of our, our study of improvisation as a jazz student. Um, and I would encourage you to begin to explore the blues in more than just a few keys, but in all 12 keys and make that a part of your regular daily practice as often as you possibly can do that. So go out, give that a try. Think about those variations. If you need to, write them out for yourself in 12 keys, but highly recommended uh, the Abersold album as a study resource. Take care.